Hello, I'm health journalist Bill Sardi. I'm here at my medical library, 2200 volumes in California, and I'm broadcasting on behalf of Lifespan Nutrition. You can see some of their products here that I formulated, including the Molecular Multi. And our topic today is Cytamins, a, a product that's been reformulated. And we're going to be talking about supporting visual health, particularly your retina. And uh, we're going to be talking about a disease called macular degeneration. Let me say right from the outset, no dietary supplement can say it uh, prevents, cures, or treats any eye disease. So in that context, uh, even though a dietary supplement may do that, it's not allowed to make that claim. And furthermore, um, these dietary supplements are then meant for your visual support. So the uh, permitted claim is that it supports your visual health. So um, we're going to talk about a dilemma, a problem today, because on my note sheets for today, twice as many Americans are concerned about maintaining their eye health as they are about cancer or osteoporosis. So we're talking about a very important issue. And as I am on the radio and talk with people, they've told me that, you know, they would uh, take my arm, just don't take my eyes and my vision. It's a precious uh, sense that we have. Certainly, we want to have good eyesight for a lifetime. So that you know who I am and what we're talking about. I am a health journalist. I have written books about, well, the first one on nutrition in the eyes many years ago, 1992, a five-volume large print set was the first one. And then secondly, we have, uh, this comes from Basic Health Publications, the User's Guide to, to uh, Eye Health Supplements. So these are, this one is still in print. The uh, large print version is uh, no longer in print. But you can still get this, I believe, at Amazon. And I have published other health books on um, downsizing your body. This was about iron and uh, weight control, the red wine pill, uh, uh, the new truth about vitamins and minerals in search of the world's best water. So I have had a wonderful time uh, researching and writing about those kinds of topics. And today, of course, is an outgrowth of that. So we are going to be talking today not only that uh, we have a devastating visual problem uh, here as people live longer and grow older, is that... Um, the dietary supplements we're using don't seem to be very beneficial. And in fact, the commonly recommended one by the National Eye Institute, this is a formula called the ARADS formula, age-related eye disease formula. And we'll be talking about this in more detail, but actually you, you don't get any better taking this formula. Your vision is still declining once you have macular degeneration. It just slows it down a bit and actually about 40% of the people who take this are in a genetic classification where they actually get worse taking it. So that's the real crux of why we're doing today's uh, broadcast, to try to see if we can't find a more upgraded way. The ARADS formula was formulated over 10 years ago. So it's old, it's outdated, and frankly, it isn't working. So we want to educate you about this. Hope we can provide you some good information. We understand that you're probably, if you're listening and uh, watching today, that you're using both the visual and the verbal cues because uh, together because your vision aspect may be compromised. You have me macular degeneration, so you're relying on what I'm talking about more than what I'm showing. So um, about 7% of all the dietary supplements sold in the United States are for the eyes. And um, so there's no pretending. Um, a lot of people do take these. Over $400 million of sales of supplements, dietary supplements for the eyes. So the FDA does not allow any claims that these work, but there is no cure, there is no a treatment that's working for the common form of macular degeneration, which is called dry macular degeneration. I'll describe that in just a moment. Um, there is one clinical trial that's underway. It will be uh, completed this year, 2017. It is with fish oil and vitamin D3. 
And that is the only clinical trial that we have in progress. So this is the only news that you're going to anticipate in this next year is about fish oil and vitamin D. And the National Eye Institute has given its thumbs down on fish oil. And in that, we are going to re be reporting that it's inaccurate and really that you should take fish oil. So that's part of our report today. The issue is you don't have time to wait for more 10-year studies. This is the only one. We don't expect any others to surface in the next few years, and your vision's declining. So you don't really have the time to wait for studies that are years away. So I can get you backgrounded on this topic. Let me uh, let you look at this little visual here, and this is the eye from front to back. So the front of the eye, the cornea that you rub when your eye is itchy, and uh, that's where the little dry eye problems come up. And then the iris is the colored part of the eye, which of course is a uh, aperture that closes and opens with the amount of light that's coming in. And behind it, the focusing lens of the eye, which is where you get cataracts. This gets cloudy over time. And then, of course, there's a big globby area right here that fills the eye. It's a gel called the vitreous gel, and that's where you get floaters and little things that get in the way of vision. And finally, the retina is just a film at the back of the eye. And, of course, it's about the size of a postage stamp in reality. And you see the optic nerve here and the macula, which is about here. The macula is about the size of a pencil tip. It has hundreds of millions of cells in it. It's what you use for your central vision, like for reading, and for your color vision. That's where all the color vision cells are. All the other cells on the side of it are for night vision. So this is black and white vision and color vision. So the visual center of your eye is called the macula, and that is a problematic area as we will try to describe to you today. So there is a treatment that is effective for the fast progressive form of macular degeneration. They call this wet macular degeneration. Why do they call it wet? They call it wet because there is leakage and there may be new blood vessels forming that invade the visual center of the eye, the macula. The new blood vessels are forming because you're not getting enough oxygen to the back of the eye. So the body says, send more oxygen, therefore new blood vessels, except this is what they call an avascular area of the eye. It doesn't have blood vessels, and if you had them there, it would get in the way of your vision. That's exactly what happens. In some people where the oxygen-starved retina, that condition then causes uh, total loss of vision, uh, and of course it's destructive. It is um, going to lead to legal blindness, which is 2200 vision or worse. I'll be explaining that on the eye chart in just a moment, what 2200 vision is. So in the fast progressive form of the disease called neovascular or um, wet macular degeneration, 85% of the patients do benefit from having medicine injected to the back of their eye. And that is very effective. It's a monthly treatment. It's done by, performed by an ophthalmologist who is a retina specialist usually. And uh, that will then cause the blood vessels to recede and help to rescue your vision. So there is effective treatment for that form. But the common form, which is called dry macular degeneration, you start to lose your vision in this visual center here. You can still see to turn knobs, doorknobs, uh, knobs on a gas stove. You can see things out here, but you can't see things right in the middle. And so it, it's just kind of gray. And so you can't see people's faces, face recognition, and obviously, the things you enjoy, watching TV, um, reading a book, those kind of things become nearly impossible. So uh, no effective treatment for this yet. So uh, it's age-related. And uh, my little note sheet here says at age 40, about 1.5% will have macular degeneration. By age 80, 15% have it. So uh, people that are dark-skinned, East Indians and blacks have far less macular degeneration because they have dark pigment, melanin, that protects not only their skin, 
but the back of their eye from sunlight damage. And actually, just as part of our education today, it's melanin that protects your eyes, the retina, from what we call blue light damage. So we've been talking about sunlight and its relationship to your eyes over a lifetime. The UV rays are invisible and it's the violet and the blue rays at that end of the spectrum that gets into our eyes and over time causes them to age much faster. If we are light skinned, we're going to get more of that violet and blue light to the back of our eyes. If you have brown eyes, that's melanin pigment. That if you have blue eyes, you don't have as much of that melanin pigment, and so the light filters right through like a translucent glass. So you want to protect your eyes from the blue light and the violet light, and you can do that with a blue blocker sunglass. This is a, a blue blocker sun lens. Now you can tell these filter out the blue light because when you put them on, the sun, the blue in the sky will become gray. So that's how you know you've got a real blue blocker that you're using. And this particular type is economical because it fits over your prescription glasses. I'll demonstrate it for you so you can put some uh, glasses on and then put these on over. It helps keep moisture on your eyes. It's good for when you're out in the sun. Blocks the glare from the side. But in, in particular, you want this amber shade of lens that blocks the UV and the blue light and so that's what's important for your vision so if you're dark skinned you have more natural melanin protection in the back of your eye but certainly all of us should over time be wearing these blue blocker sun type lenses so melanin is protective of your eyes and that's our lesson at this point one of the things we want to talk about is a little sign that comes up when you visit the eye doctor and when he sticks that ophthalmoscope up to your eye and tries to look in the back and see your retina, he may see some little yellow spots at the back of the eye. They look like this. And these occur in 90% of adults. They're called drusen, D-R-U-S-E-N. Oxysterol, they're actually like cholesterol deposits in the back of your eye. And they're a sign that your eye is getting weak and aging, and eventually you may get macular degeneration. This is a form, an early stage. You're not losing vision, but you have what we call retinal drusen. And so this, I'll show you another picture here so you can see what it looks like, a little more uh, aggressive form of retinal drusen. And then I'll blow it up here in this picture. Here's the optic nerve over here and the visual center of the eye, the macula. There it is surrounded with this um, retinal drusen. It's a form of cholesterol. And so when the doctor sees that, he knows your vision is going to be in trouble in the future. It's a very early sign. As I say, 90% of us end up with some drusen on the back of the eye. We're going to talk to you about that, what to do about it a little bit more. Well, something you can do at home to detect macular degeneration on your own is to use something called an Amsler grid. Now it looks like this. You can have these printed out if you have a computer or ask your eye doctor for some. It's just an eye grid. It's a little checkerboard grid. And what you do with the Amsler grid is you test one eye at a time. I have an occluder here. You can just close one eye at a time. But you look at the, the center of the Amsler grid with one eye and then you see if the lines are straight or wavy if they're wavy or there's a blind spot, then you know that you've got some problems. You need to go in and see the eye doctor. You want to test one eye at a time to make sure. Now, you can do this with your glasses on because you may have a little astigmatism or double lines. That's not important. What is important is that you can see all the grids. Keep your eye in the visual center, right, where there's a little dot, and then test your vision at normal uh, reading length here. So it, the Amsler grid can help you detect this. If you already have macular degeneration, you can see whether you're improving or not, whether the blind spots are going away or getting larger. And of course, if it looks aggressively different, then you want to certainly go back and see the doctor and see what they can do about that. So this is called the Amsler grid. It's free. You just take this test at home. You can get Amsler grids at your doctor's office or have them printed out online. So um, 
We're going to be talking about supplements now, dietary supplements. What can we do? Well, certainly we want a good diet and um, uh, good things for the eyes. A low carbohydrate diet, that means uh, no refined sugars and no carbohydrates, which means you're not going to be having as much pasta, you're not going to be eating as much rice, um, cereal, uh, those kinds of they all, the carbohydrates turn to sugar, so you want to have a low carbohydrate diet if you would like to know the best diet for your eyes. You want to have some natural lutein in the foods you eat that you can find that in marigold flower petals, where most of us are not going to eat marigolds, but they do uh, supplement that in eggs, so you'll find some eggs have it to color the yolk and uh, so therefore the natural way to get it. Otherwise, it's hidden in the green leaves of spinach, is very rich in lutein. However, in order to get the minimum of at least six milligrams a day, doctors are saying maybe 12 milligrams a day of lutein, it's a little yellow pigment that gets in the back of your eye and filters the light coming in, protects you from blue light damage, and seems to make the eye much healthier and certainly improves what we call your contrast vision. So the diet is important too. You should probably have some fish in your diet so that you get the fish oil. However, for most of us, we probably will only eat fish one or two days a week. So I think it's important for us to get a, a fish oil supplement. We'll talk about that in just a moment. The official ARADS formula, the one with vitamin C, E, beta carotene, copper, zinc, and lutein now, they've included that, is the ARADS formula, the age-related eye disease supplement formula. And we have some disturbing news, as we said at the top of our program, Two major genetic groups uh, experience a decline in vision while they were taking the ARADS formula. Of course, we're not, we have no idea where they were in those genetic groups, but just to try to tell you, the best that the ARADS formula is going to do is over a 10-year period, slow your visual decline by about 25%. You're still losing vision. You have no evidence that this is working for you. All you see is that your vision is declining over that time. So we think that in the years that have passed since this formula has been uh, made, that it, there is more science that would help you, at least from the best available evidence we have, you could do better with something else. So that's our topic today. A recent study by the National Eye Institute found that fish oil did not improve on the ARADS formula, but they did say that lutein and zeaxanthin did. So what they did was add the lutein, zeaxanthin is a form of lutein, and they, they didn't recommend fish oil yet. We're going to have the, a, a better answer on that this year in 2017, whether fish oil does help. But we can tell you this, all of the studies that were done in Europe were positive about fish oil and macular degeneration, that it is helpful, and the one big study that was done here wasn't. So we have question about the reliability of that study. And we ran into one study where virtually every patient with macular degeneration experienced an improvement in vision. And it was a small study, and what it showed was this. A third of the people gained one line, three lines of visual improvement. So if they could see this line, they could see down here three lines, smaller type. If some of them got two lines of visual improvement and some just one line of visual improvement. So you can see here on the eye chart that would be significant. Well, every patient in this study had visual improvement versus the ARADS formula. Nobody experiences visual improvement. It just slows your decline in vision down. So that one study uh, used 5,000 milligrams of fish oil. Now that's quite a bit. Usually a uh, fish oil pill may, might be 1,000, 1,200 milligrams, or, and it had 3,400 milligrams of what we call EPA and uh, 1,600 milligrams of uh, DHA. Those are the components of the fish oil. And so what that means is this, real simple. Two tablespoons of fish oil. If you want to save money, get fish oil. If you don't like swallowing all those capsules, get it in liquid form. It saves you a lot of money. It would be equivalent to two tablespoons if you're taking the cap the soft gel capsules then you want 5,000 milligrams 
and it had a dramatic improvement in vision. So just call it to your attention. Since it's a small study, it's a little bit dismissed. However, what we call the statistical power of that study is when every patient got well and got their, their vision was better. So if something's wrong here, we do strongly suggest that you get the omega-3 fish oils. A current predicament of seniors as they are um, getting older is they do have this Drusen problem, as we explained, and the Drusen um, it, it's just, there's nothing made to uh, eradicate the Drusen. So it's important for us, uh, it's taken 16 years for us to come up with this formula and it hasn't been improved upon. We think part of the problem is it includes copper. And now copper is an oxidant. And you notice outdoors when things that are copper, they, they degrade, they turn that green color right away. So we think that copper is a misdirection. We think it accelerates uh, the new blood vessel formation, the wet form of the disease, and we don't suggest copper in any eye disease formula. It, you should get your copper from your diet rather than from dietary supplements. Um, we have reformulated cytamins and uh, scanned the medical literature and read it thoroughly, and we believe that along with fish oil, the Cytomens formula would be a great way for you to support your visual health. And of course, Cytomens come from Lifespan Nutrition. You can visit there at lifespannutrition.com to learn more. It contains vitamin C, vitamin D, by the way, vitamin D, lots of evidence that it's a, a factor involved in macular degeneration, that you're short of it, you need more. Vitamin B12, zinc citrate, a very good form of zinc. We think there's too much zinc in the ARADS formula, and so it's not the 80 milligrams they provide, and the ARADS formula provides it zinc oxide. It's highly insoluble, so the zinc citrate is easily soluble and gets utilized. Along with lutein and zeaxanthin for the sun protection, it has polyphenols in it. They get to the back of your eye, and these come from cloves, like the cloves you have in your kitchen, uh, the berberine, which is, comes from Oregon grape, and quercetin, these are what we call polyphenols that get to the back of the eye and are metal chelators, so they, they attach to iron, copper, and so on that accumulate in the back of the eye. And along with something called beta-cyclodextrin. Now, beta-cyclodextrin is a solubilizer, and it helps those polyphenols to get into the system and, and get by uh, all of the detox systems in your body so that they can get to the retina. The Cytomens formula is just $10.50 a month. We know, and after years of working with people with this problem, they don't have a lot of money. So they need this formula here, the ARADS formula, is $20 and $30 a bottle. There are various versions of it. The Cytomens is only $10.50 a bottle. It's an updated formula based on the best science that we know to help support a good visual health. We cannot say that it cures or treats uh, or prevents macular degeneration, but we can say it's the best science that we know about. It's only 35 cents a day. You take one capsule. So it, it's simple to use and it's called Cytomens. Now understand, your, your vision, if it happens to improve during this time, you'll think it's a wonder product. If it doesn't, you'll, you'll probably think it doesn't work at all. It, so it takes a while for these things to change in the eye, and we like to think of good visual health. You don't want to let your vision further decline, so um, the best thing to do is keep taking it every day for your visual health, and of course we think it's the most modern formula yet. Now, it's important that you do all of the things. We're talking about fish oil. We're talking about wearing the blue blocker sunglasses. We're talking about using the Amsler grids. We're talking about taking cytamins. My name is Bill Sardi. I'm a health journalist. I'm talking on behalf of Lifespan Nutrition. And the phone number, again, is 1-800-247-5731. I have a little test here for you because you can see that there's various shades of blue on this uh, little sheet that I'm holding. And when you have cataracts and macular degeneration, 
these shades of blue often are very difficult to see. So if you're having trouble seeing that phone number, 1-800-247-5731, it'll help you see that maybe you need to go to the eye doctor, have them recheck your eyes. But it's important that you know that we're here for your health to give you the best information that we know. And we think the latest and most advanced formula for visual support of the human eye is Cytamins. It comes from Lifespan Nutrition. I'm Bill Sardi, health journalist. Thank you for listening and watching. Signing off for Lifespan Nutrition. <music>